Quickly, before this video starts, please make sure if you're watching my channel, you are subscribed. Hit the subscribe and hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you'll know when the video goes live. If you're subscribed, that helps the channel massively. I'm getting great views for the amount of subscribers. Please subscribe. Subscribe and hit the bell. Back to the video. Welcome to another video. So today, mental health in the gym. So, I'm not scientifically, I'm not, wow, that's been there. No, I, I'm, I've not got the scientific depth of this. This is my, my opinion, pros and cons to it. If you want an in-depth, um, proper diagnosis of the correlations between mental health and exercising and fitness then this in the video but so everyone I feel everyone knows someone that's dealing with or had dealt with mental health issues anxiety problems one in four people will experience a mental health problem at some sort every year one in six will experience a mental health problem every week now that's really scary if you ask me one in four one in six so can the gym help slash benefit mental health and i think it's a massive yes taking it from a personal perspective taking it from a perspective from other people so how does it help so there are many reasons why it helps. So it helps with depression and anxiety. It's been scientifically proven as a mood booster. Decreases symptoms of both depression and anxiety. Physical activity kicks up the endorphins. The feel good chemical. Even just it's been said it's been said that even just moderate exercise. So either week can improve depression, anxiety, and according to this. Doctors like to um, recommend exercise regime before they resort to medication. You can de decrease your stress. Does me if I've had a really, really hard day at work or a stressful day at work, I can come and train. Once I've trained, I'm a lot chilled, a lot better, I feel a lot better just by moving the weights around. Improve self-esteem and self-confidence. Now, I, I believe I'm more confident from training. Self-esteem as well. You will get better sleep. You will get better sleep. I find that training will help. Whether what whatever the training is. Brain boost. I didn't know this. So, but researching. Building, building intelligence to strengthen memory, exercise boosts brain power in a number of ways. Studies of mice and humans indicate that cardiovascular exercise creates new brain cells. A process called, not reading that out, neurogenesis and improves overall brain performance. It also prevents cognitive decline and memory loss by strengthening the certain thing, hippocampus. What are the disadvantages? So when I was doing my research for this, to get the script, there were a lot of things that were said there was a disadvantage that aren't. So we'll, we'll get on to that. There are people who need to exercise and who absolutely benefit from exercise. But there are some disadvantages. Exercise have rescued obese people, individuals from a sedentary lifestyle and saved men and women from being ravaged by cardiovascular disease and allowed for athletes to train their body to perform above and beyond capacity. But exercise can have a dark side, which it can. Dangerous disadvantages. I wish my phone would stop going. Stay bright. Like I say, 
there's, there's a lot of points that people say are disadvantages and I can tell they've been written by people that don't step in the gym. Exercise is addictive and I agree with that. So I'm addicted to the gym, not in the medical sense. But like the TikTok says, I don't think I could live without it. I need the gym. I need to train. Also, I know a lot of people that suffer with um, body perception disorders, like body dysmorphia. That can affect you massively. It can affect you a little bit. But I find a lot of people that are massive don't think they're massive. And a lot of people that are really skinny and shredded and lean and looking really... They don't see it. And that's... A, that's Touching on body dysmorphia. For me in the gym, it is my form of therapy. It's more than just coming and getting strong, coming and getting fitter. There's more to it than that. It goes to a deeper level, training. And the people that don't train won't understand that. It's so much deeper. And I know a lot of people in here that will use this as their therapy. And it's got me through some dark times regarding work and being self-employed for the last 13 years. It hasn't always been rosy. And I find the gym has been one of those contributing factors to help. I'm so glad that I found the love for this. And this is my addiction. Because... There's lots of other places and with ways you can get addicted to stuff. And the fact that me training my ass off in the gym and eating healthily is my therapy. And I know that's the same for so many people out there. So comment down below. If fitness has helped you, exercise has helped you with mental health. Because there was massive, there's been massive stigmas regarding mental health. And I don't feel there should be. If you're struggling, say something, speak to somebody. But yeah, as I said, I'm not going to go into it deep, 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 deep. Mental health in the gym, I find it have a direct correlation. They can help each other. And I don't just mean training. Any form of exercise, cardiovascular exercise, will help. But yeah, some of the points that this article I looked at said regarding the bad points of exercise. I am not reading those out. Just stupid. But the main points. Helps depression and anxiety. Yes. Decreases stress. Yes. Increase self-esteem, self-confidence. Yes. Better sleep. Yes. Boosts your brain function. Yes. And there's no greater feeling than going for a weight or moving for reps that surge of the good health, the good, what's, it, what's the word, the feel-good chemical produced by the brain and the spinal cord. Didn't know it was producing the spinal cord as well, but anyway, that's a great feeling. Having a crap day and having an hour and a half of amazing session writes off the bad day. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Closing in on a thousand subs. I can't believe I'm saying that. 800 and... 809 this morning filming this wow that's mental go check out my shop if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one so there's mental health and the gym i don't know I, I don't know the title but mental health and the gym are i find a direct correlation if you're struggling and you train that will help but if you're also struggling speak out to somebody there's no need to Go through this world alone. Like, comment, share, subscribe. See you in the next one.